after doing the trimming and a quality check and trimming the next step is to align the uh, new trimmed FASTQ file with the reference genome and, uh, and, th and that would be a BAM file which will be unsorted and then we will sort it using another command. So for first step is that this was the output file we generated. So what, what first what we need to do is to convert this output uh, new dot fastq file into a uh, decompressed file because uh, the the compressed files are not actually used by the star aligner command so first of all what you have to do is you can go here and you can just uh, decompress the file just write gzip right and then uh, minus dk and if you want to keep the file you need to write minus dk if you don't want to keep the file you can just write minus d here right so minus d if i write here and then let's go to the uh, to the uh, to the folder where the file is saved and uh, here you can see this output new file is here and then just type enter so after right typing the enter the it will take a bit of time because the file size is very big for example here you can see this output new file is now generating here and the file size is this decompressed file is 724.8 mb but maybe when it will be decompressed it will be around 3 gb size so that's why the decompressing may take a bit of time after decompressing the file what you have to do is to convert the this uh, fastq file into uh, the bam file and for that uh, you need to uh, install the star aligner star uh, aligner you can just write it down here that uh, install install star uh, aligner and you can get the install uh, command and then you can just type it in the terminal and you will install the star right so now the file is now decompressed here you can see that this is the new decompressed file the original file is gone because i just write minus d here if i write here minus dk then it will also save the compressed file along with the decompressed file right so now let's go to the next step that is to align the uh, uh, the the file and for that let's start here star and then uh, first thing what you need to give is to give them the directory where the genome is saved right so genome directory here uh, directory here the genome is actually saved here in mint uh, the mnt mint and then this and then reference genome folder here all the annotated files are saved here if you see here this reference genome file here all the annotated files, chromosome length name all these files are actually you can co convert it before performing all the analysis and uh, to con uh, these annotation of reference genome before performing all the fastq analysis but the best way is also that you can download all these annotated files from the website uh, ucsc genome browser or any any in space you find if you have any problem in downloading uh, these reference genome files uh, kindly ask in the com comment box box and then i will share the link the possible link from where you can download these files right so uh, after writing the reference genome now what we have to do is to read the file right so read the files files uh, files or file right now we are using one file so read the files in this folder here uh, new fastq file and the file name is output dot uh, i'm using output underscore new right so this one and then uh I have to give the output prefix like output prefix output file name that would be file name prefix and I want to save it uh, you can give the location where you want to save it for example I want to save it here in BAM files and the name should be again output uh, that is the prefix of the file and then what you can do is to out sam type bam unsorted right so let's go through the command here one again so that you can 
have an understanding and I can also check whether there is um, I have made any mistake or not star and then the genome directory this is the this is the place that where the reference genome is saved then the reads file in in this folder here and then the output file prefix that is output and then out sam type that is bam unsorted so it will actually save the unsorted file right uh, there is a step where you can actually sort the file which will be shared in the next step so here let's wait and now the started to run the star aligner the reference genome is loaded here and now it started to mapping and all these files are actually saved in the this folder here you can see if I go here and share with you and bam unsorted here yeah so so it started to run and here you can see these are the files output log all the commands which I just shared here right for example here you can see this is the command I gave these are the parameters and genome directory uh, reference genome directory is this one read file name is this one output is this one and the output is bam unsorted so now it's have started to run the command and you can see it has uh, now performing all the alignment with the reference genome and uh, other thing you can find out here is that progress right so it will take a bit of time because there's a uh, this file size is more than 3 GB and there are a lot of uh, uh, reads which it has to count and uh, and separate the map reads and unmap reads I will just uh, share a bit of more so that you can have an understanding that how it actually works like uh, for example here you can see now it started to run and uh, yeah now you can see that now that, that at this particular time the some uh, these number of reads are checked and total number of map reads are around 62 percent map length is this one map uh, multiple reads are this one and maps are only 0.8 percent short so these are so actually it separates all the mapped and unmapped reads right so it will take a bit of time let's uh, wait uh, for a while and see what we can get from the this file so now here you can see it is done the uh, mapping is finished successfully everything is done and these are the four output files that are generated here you can see this is the BAM file and this is the overall final log summary the total number of input reads are these one average input read length was this total number of map reads were this one right and so on for so forth all this is the output file this is the log which I shared with you the commands which I run and then the, 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 the all the alignment and and BAM unsorted file is generated right so and this was the uh, progress file which ended here so uh, the now this this is the BAM unsorted file and the, ne the next step what we will do here is we will actually sort this BAM file uh, into an indexed BAM file which can be used for expression analysis right thank you bye bye